Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. I have a really, really handy little effector that I found and I wanted to share it with you guys. So this is created by a guy named R2 Rautio. Not sure exactly how to say that, but he's in Finland. Definitely give him a follow on Twitter. He's doing some incredible work and he's very generous to share some of his stuff with us. All right, so there's a little download link right here and it's actually just a Cinema 4D file and I'm gonna walk you through it really quick. So if we jump into Cinema 4D, here is your take control. Now you're probably not gonna to wanna to open up a Cinema 4D file every time. You'll probably wanna add it to your content browser. So if you just go to Window, Content Browser, what you can do is go to File, New Preset Library, and you could call this something like Effectors, and you could just take this null and drag it into here, and now you have your Take Control Effector. Anytime you wanna access it, you can just get it in your Lib4D. All right, so once you do that and you have easy access to it, I'm actually gonna paste in some cloners that I pre-made. And let's go to this cloner of cubes and let's go to the effector tab and make sure we take that take control and drag it into here. All right, so you'll notice that one of these cubes disappeared. So the take control effector is now kind of overriding the cloner and taking control of this cube in the corner. If we wanna pick a different one, we can cycle through those. Under the setting, we have clone ID. If we toggle through these, you can see that we can pick which clone we want. So let's say that we want this one. We're gonna to wanna to put it back where it came from, so we'll click go to origin. But now this take control effector has kind of assumed control of this one clone. And now you can really easily modify a clone, which is very, very cool. We can also change the color if we wanna be able to visualize this a little bit better, make it a different color, make sure to check on use. And we can also play around with the weight and the clone select as well. But for right now, we'll stick with these. All right, so under effector, you also have a strength. And we can do that if we want to animate this cloner back to its original position, another way that we can kind of modify it. All right, let's say that we want to pick another cube. It's really easy, just uh, hit control and drag to make it duplicate. Go into your cloner and make sure your duplicate is in here. And then under that one, what we can do is go to our settings and just toggle through our cloner ID and pick one that we want. We'll pick this one. Make sure to click go to origin. And now this controller is gonna assume this cube right here. So you can see that's a really nice way to modify very specific clones. All right, I have one more scenario I wanna walk you through. And let's go and delete this one and turn on this other guy. All right, so let's say that you have a perfect setup, except for we have this pesky little problem here where these two clones are intersecting. Now here's a little tip. If you wanna know exactly what index number this particular clone is, go to your cloner, go to transform and under display, you can change this to index. And this is gonna make a number for each clone, but the problem is it's very hard to see. The transparency is really low. So what you can do is go to mode and go to view settings and under your HUD tab, under controls, this is what controls these. So we can kick up the opacity all the way up and now you can see the number a lot easier. You can also play around with the, uh, the color of these guys. If you wanna make it even more obvious, you can play around with the text color. Now we have yellow and some black text. All right, so if we kind of hover around here, you're gonna see that 31 and 27 are these clones. So let's pick 31 and let's move it. So let's make sure that our effector take control is in the effectors tab of that cloner. And let's go to 31 under the clone ID. And you'll notice that it disappeared. Let's make sure to go back to origin. And now you'll see that it turned green and it's in that spot, but now we can move it wherever we want to, which is perfect. So now if you have a pesky issue of intersecting clones, you can go in here and really quickly isolate that clone and move it. Now, of course, there's other ways to do this with your MoGraph selection tags and whatnot, but that takes a lot longer to set up. This take control effector is a really, really quick and powerful way to modify your clones. Make sure you go and follow R2 on Twitter. He's uh, doing some pretty amazing work. Hope you guys found that useful. And as always, thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. Talk to you next time. Ciao.